Hi, everybody. It's Diane Nito from Sutton. And in Living in Barry today, we're going to talk about the rental market in Barry. Because in the last three or four months, we've seen a really big shift in it. And something that I haven't seen for years and years. So I'm going to do a little screen share with you here. And right now in the city of Barry, um, the rental market, there is 104 listings on the market. We have never seen that kind of amount of rentals. Um, so we'll take a full townhouse. So 50, 19 Ramblewood Drive. This doesn't even make sense. Um, let me try something with uh, a two bedroom at least. So this is 88 trillion, 1650. It's saying, it's saying two beds, one bath. So this is a basement apartment only. So it's a two bedroom, lower basement, full kitchen. Um, utilities are included. They want AAA tenants, work letters, pay stubs. They're looking at 1650. And this is a two bedroom basement. So let's look at, well, this is updated. It's a nicer area as well. I'm trying to find, so I'm trying to find, I think, um, I'm trying to find you a, um, a full house. So this is a lower basement, two bedroom, lower 1700 two bedroom lower here 17 lower level 1750 one bedroom 1100 square feet so in the lowers it's ranging from 1415 for a one bedroom up to 1718 for a two bedroom whoa some of them are 19. Okay, here on Collier, 1950, two bedroom upper. It's only 750 square feet. And Collier, Collier's like right downtown, Barry. It's cute. It's renovated, but it's very small. And they're looking at 1950. Obviously with 104, we can't go through all of them. So what I'm trying to find you is like, let's go over here. Okay, a townhouse. So here we go. $2,400, six fair lane, three bedroom, three bath, 1,071 square feet. It's a newer build. Uh, you would have to pay all the utilities yourself on top of that. So 2,400, 25, it's a brand new build, all brand new appliances. So with utilities and stuff, you'd be probably close to uh, $3,000 a month. And it probably has, it. I think this one has a garage and then one parking space outside. Yes, it does. Been on the market for five days. This is an end unit townhouse in an older area, 2,400. I don't know what it looks like inside. But you would, oh, it's, it's been updated. You would also, same thing, need to pay your own utilities. It's in the south end. Full basement finished. So then we can get up to, oh, so some of them, you can get like 2,500 on Georgian Drive, three bedroom, that 2,500 includes taxes, right? Or includes utilities, I mean, because you'd only get the upper unit of this of this house. So you there would be tenants in the basement. Very, very cute. And that's at 2,500 with all utilities in. So now when we get into like a four bedroom house, well, we have a couple here, 
2,600. This is the whole house. It's not that big though. And you'd have to pay the utilities yourself on top of that. It's got a hot tub, walkout basement. And that's at 2,600. Now this has been on the market for 186 days. If I hit the history, I can see that it started at 2,900 in November. And it's been dropped and we're down to, it went to 2,800 in January and now it's down to 2,600 in February. So this is kind of what I was trying to get across that because there's so many listings and it's taking so long, the prices on the rentals are, are dropping. So let's see, Bateau is a very nice street. It's a townhouse, brand new, 2,600, been on the market 169 days, 169 days. Started at 28, went to 27, now we're at 26. And it's a brand new townhouse. Here we have bigger houses. So four bedroom, 3,000 square feet. They want 3,250. Beautiful house. Plus, you have to pay the utilities. Very nice area. Really big house. Soaker tub. Double car garage. This one's been on the market for 101 days. 101 days. And let's see what it started at. Well, it's been at 32.50 the whole time. So as you can see, the rental market right now, it's challenging. If you're a landlord and you're trying to get a tenant, we're seeing the prices go down and we're seeing it's taking a really long time to rent. Now, the prices are still high though, right? That's still a high rental amount for what, what you get, especially in the just getting the upper of a house, but they're not being rented and slowly over time, the prices are going down. So for the rental market, it's good for renters as far as sometimes you can negotiate. There's negotiation involved here now. So I hope this helps anybody that's looking to rent or buy an investment property. And if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments. Hit the like and subscribe and I'll be back with you I'm going to hopefully do another one Friday on multiple offers. So We'll talk soon.